All right. Hello, everybody. We are on our last day of box opening. Our case is almost complete. Yesterday was kind of a bust. We didn't get any of the cool textured cards. So hopefully today it will make up for it and give us a couple textured cards. So, yeah. Let's find out, shall we? Get my pack assistant opener going. Because those packs yesterday were insane to open. Okay, they're not bad. Disney super sealed. All right, come on, let's get some texture today. We want some texture. That's the word of the day. Uh, ooh, right off the bat, we got our first soul ring foil. Ah, wow, that was uh, cool looking. And then right behind it, the Ur Dragon. Oh my God, this we we started off hot today. Ooh. We've now got a. This is the old picture, I believe, right? Yeah, because that's the new one. Yeah. So that's the old one in etched. So, good start. Pack isn't even over yet. Maybe it's like yesterday. Our first pack was amazing. An Obscuring Haze and Full Art Frost Fang. This thing looks amazing. The background is like super foily. So, that was... Wow. I can't even like... I don't even know how to even put that pack in order of goodiness because this is one of the, the sought after cards from the commander deck as well so this is probably like a 150 200 pack by itself that is good gravy we're gonna put the lotus on top for that one the lotus on top all right well that's it let's just shut her down now call her a day too late we're already open a bunch more packs it's fine too late, she says. Pet to Exile back again for the 85th reprint. Still a couple bucks. Cool frame search. I had to point out, because someone told me I had to point out, Jeff Miracola. He did so much art in this set. So much. Rise of the Eldrazi. Rhino Balcher and another full art ascension. Full art ascension's good. Good, good, good. Oh, we've seen that swamp before. Another packs, maybe we have. It's a pretty cool looking one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Etched hammer. Rejuvenating full art land. Not bad at all. Not bad. Souza. Etch Exoplanar Lens. Jay's Phoenix. Personal Tutor. And the full art of Balefire Dragon, which is an amazing art. That one's pretty sweet. Not sure what this one's going for. I know the last one was like, I think 10, 15 bucks. But this art is way better. I like that. All right, so that was the first box. Not bad. The first pack paid for a ton of that. So the rest of it, even if it was bad, was still good. Even though it was good. Astronaut's Altar is back again. Anybody who's still trying to chase those? I'm not sure. They're probably like five bucks, ten bucks. Still in the Astronaut's Altar chase. You haven't got yours yet. Sakama Fort. Another, oh, Pierce Steel Paladin by the old Richard Ferguson. Art style that, yeah. I think every single art that he does, I wonder if that like makes a, uh, a mosaic or something, because they all seem like they're very similar, but... Keep that over there just in case we find another one to check it out. Fellower Stone. Bribery etched. I think it's the first time we've seen that reprinted in a while. It's kind of cool. Kaikar Kindred Dominance. So far, no. Special cards that we saw. So Is we're. Really called star no, they're not star foils. They're the ridge to whatever you want to call them. Ridged foils. Yeah. Sapphire Melon number two. We got one of those earlier. Uh, I think the yesterday or the day before. Etched. Smothering Tithe. Instruction by none other than the guy I keep talking about. Jeff Miracle. Very cool looking instruction, that's for sure. Currently at. Uh, we did 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 19 packs with none, to include yesterday. We are just on a low roll when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Dark Steel Mutation, another one with Richard Ferguson's. And there's 
Sphere, Avatar Slaughter, Etched Sunsh, Kindred Dominance, Mirren. Going down to our last four packs, guys. Come on, come on, last four packs. Both today and yesterday, we started off super blazing hot. Then it just kind of petered. Petered away. Cool flirt. Kanama's Reach, Fierce Guardianship, Sword of the Animist etched. Another cool one that looks etched. Composer of Springs, Personal Tutor, Deadly Rolock. So that one's definitely got some, some good stuff. This is like the hasn't been reprinted pack, like none of these guys. That I did once, I think, but all these guys were ones we're waiting for. You can hear crybaby puppies upstairs. She's a crybaby puppy. Crybaby. She's like, but I want to be down there. That's where all the fun is. Savage Beaten. Flare. Telran. Grand Abolisher. Oh, yeah, so. I don't think they actually, like, mesh up or make a thing. I think it just looks like they should. Like the scheme, yeah, it's just like the scheme that looks similar. Definitely don't mesh up, but. Let's see here. Yeah. Alright, should have more than enough Grand Abolishers after this week. They're ready. Let's grab the token. I don't think we've seen much for Planeswalkers either. I'm trying to think in my head if we've opened... We haven't opened any Planeswalkers? I don't think so. Queen Machessa, Vault of the Champions. That's a cool looking one. Amareth, Ghost Initiative Foil, which just looks sweet. Um, when Omnith dies, manifest a number of cards to the top of your library equal to the number of counters, so it's going to make a bunch of dudes. Obscuring Haze and Allergy Sella Foil. We're down to our last pack. All right, well, we finished strong in that first box we opened. That was the banger in the end. Let's see if we can do it again. <clears throat> it was like first or last. Every day the first or last pack was the best. You start strong or finish strong. Those are the ways. That is the way. Steel Paladin, Etch Twilight, Rise of the Ladrazi, Full Art Blood Seal, and Spectator Seating. Boom, bam, another Full Art Foil Land. But that is now two full or, or uh, two sets of three boxes. So that'd be six boxes, 24 packs with no actual special ridged cards like that. So that percentage is. Oh no, someone someone may have recorrected me. Maybe it wasn't 25%. Maybe it was one in eight packs, and we actually hit a bunch early. Because I thought someone made a post on one of my my uh that first video I made. I think he said one in eight packs. So if that's true, then we're actually we've hit pretty well then. Not a think about that. A little under, yeah. A little under that, but I'll I'll trade that a little under off for this any day of the week. So um but yeah, so either way. Thank you guys for sitting along and watching me open all my boxes. If you haven't, go back and watch those videos that uh, you haven't watched yet. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll be making a lot more of these in the future, trying to get more time to do it. So I appreciate it, guys. Um, if you haven't liked or subscribed, do that now, please. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.